So today I talked about a Nissan with the P0420 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is the Nissan P0420 code? Well, it's a catalyst system efficiency below threshold bank one. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer is using sensors to monitor the catalytic converter and it sees that it fell below a 95% efficiency. And so it's seeing an issue with the catalytic converter and it's gonna have to be troubleshooting a why. And some possible causes, well, it could be an exhaust leak, could be a felt sensor, could be a bad catalytic converter. And it can also possibly be an engine problem like a bad injector. But usually when that happens, you're going to get other codes. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. And bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you locate the number one cylinder, that's going to be bank one. And then the opposite side of that is going to be bank two. If you have a four cylinder, then it won't matter because you only have one bank. And so the first thing to go and do when you get this code is to go check out your exhaust and be sure there's no leaks going on. Because if there's any leaks, like if there's any damage to the exhaust, any holes or anything like that, then it can throw these sensors off, which is a common problem. Basically go check it out. Check out where these flanges go together. There's gaskets inside of here that often blow out because when there's a hole in the exhaust, it lets air in and it throws those sensors off. So the first thing to do is go examine your exhaust and be sure there's no leaks going on. And the basics of what's going on inside the system is that you're gonna have a sensor one, also called the upstream oxygen sensor. It's gonna be located before the catalytic converter. And then you're gonna have a sensor two, also called the downstream oxygen sensor that's located after the catalytic converter and these sensors they do two things they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion and then the onboard computer uses that information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture and then they also have heater elements built in and the heater elements are monitoring the catalytic converter since it could tell how it's heating up and it can see if it's failing or not and so if you go through and there's no exhaust leaks the engine's running fine there's no other codes or anything like that then at this point either the sensors failed or the catalytic converter failed and so there's going to be some different ways you go about troubleshooting this you could test the sensors and if the sensors test good then it's probably the catalytic converter or you could test the catalytic converter and if it tests good, then it's likely the sensors. I made a video on how you go about testing these sensors. I'll put a link down below if you want to check that out. You can check them with an OBD2 scan tool. You can also check them with the multimeter. There's also some different ways you could test the catalytic converter. One quick easy way is that you buy one of these low-cost infrared temperature guns. And basically what you do is you measure the temperature before the catalytic converter, and then you measure the temperature after the catalytic converter. And if the temperature is running hotter before the catalytic converter than after the catalytic converter, then it's a sign that it's failing because it's supposed to be running like 50 to 100 degrees hotter after the air is coming out of the catalytic converter and so when the temperature is hotter before it usually means that it's clogged up and that there's an issue going on with it when a catalytic converter gets clogged up usually the vehicle is going to have less power so if you are having less power it just doesn't take off like it used to or things like this then that quite often means that the air is being restricted and the engine's having to work extra hard to push air through the catalytic converter a lot of mechanics, when they think that it's clogged up, they'll break loose some of these flanges so that the air can escape. And then they'll take the vehicle for a drive. And if it drives better and it has more power, then they know that that catalytic converter is clogged up. So like I said, there's some different ways you go about testing the catalytic converter to see if it is having an issue. But the thing to do is to go check to see if the sensors are failed or the catalytic converter is failed. If you do find that the catalytic converter is going bad, there is a cleaner that you go run through the engine that many people do. And quite often it can blow out the catalytic converter. The results on this can vary. Sometimes it works good for some people and then for other people it doesn't seem to work at all usually this works good for people who do a lot of city driving since they don't get on the freeway much and like really rev up the engine and, and blow all the gunk out so if you do a lot of city driving and you're just like stop and go you're never really getting out on a freeway and really revving up the engine and really blowing the gunk out then this may help you like i said the results can vary there's some different types like this cataclean i'll put a link down below if you want to check it out but it is an option and like i said the results can vary sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't and so that's basically it I just wanted to give an overview of how you go about fixing a Nissan with the P0420 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.